Alright, so now we finally got a date. What's good? It's the one and the only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. We finally got the date and the title clip. Well, the title fight between the two up and coming next generation fight. Well, I guess we could say this generation, but up and coming try still trying to solidify themselves in this boxing world. We got um Stan Jonas versus Virgil Ortiz. This has been a highly anticipated matchup that I've been looking forward to for the longest. And it seems that we're finally getting man this year alone. Let me just say this year alone we have <laughs> This year is really doing good in boxing, man. Like I, I can't complain, bro. Um, I think uh, I, well, Virgil Ortiz, who signed with Golden Boy Promotions, and I, I want to say Stan Jonas, Stan Jonas is with the PBC. Um, but man, you know it, this is just this is just great, bro. Like this is what we've been needing, and we've been getting it, bro. We started the year off, you know, um, with with you know we we had. Uh, Caleb Plant versus David Benavidez. We had uh, Tank versus Ryan Garcia. We had fights in between that, but those are the big major fights, you know. Then we had uh, we we just we, we were about to have Devin Haney versus Lomachenko this this Saturday. So man, this is just I mean I, I'm loving I'm loving the way boxing is going. This year is a, coming out to be a, a very good year for boxing. So now we're finally getting into this fight right here. Now there's been a lot of obstacles coming if you guys haven't known in recent history. Virgil Ortiz has been battling some internal injuries or whatnot and um, you know having to, to get himself right. But it looks like everything is finally on the go. So let's go ahead and look into it and then we can go ahead and give our opinions on this fight. Because this, this right here, man, this is a very important fight. And, and one thing I like to talk about is I like to talk about the fights. Um, though these names aren't as big as the names that I've mentioned, these guys, these, this is a, a very important fight, you know, for boxing and just the welterweight division and all. So let's look into it and then let's go ahead and talk about it. So, shout out to BoxingScene.com. It says, Stan Jonas versus Virgil Ortiz on July 8th at the AT&T Center in San Antonio. It says, a new day has been set for the highly anticipated clash between undefeated knockout sensation Virgil Ortiz, who has the record of 19-0 with 19 knockouts of Grand Perry, Texas, and the world champion Stan Jonas, who is 14-0 with 9 knockouts of Kunis Lithonia. Lithuania, I'm sorry, Lithuania, I'm so sorry about that, for Stan Jonas WBA regular world title. It was scheduled for April 29th, but the bout was postponed after Virgil Ortiz su suffered a rabobinamalapalapa flare-up due to long COVID. The 12-round championship showdown will now take place at the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas on July 8th and will be broadcast worldwide exclusively on the zone. The fight was originally set for March 18th to, and pushed back when Stan Jonas was hospitalized and forced to, to undergo appendectomy surgery. Lithuanian Stan Jonas claimed the secondary WBA world welterweight title in a hard fight, a hard fought decision win over Rabas Butayev. I actually have a close friend that, uh, that fought Butayev um, on the PVC card. <laughs> but anyways, um, it says the fiercely contested 12-round battle took place in April 16th at the AT&T Stadium, home to the NFL Dallas Cowboys Arlington, in Arlington, Texas. Ortiz lobbied for his mandatory title status to be enforced last September. The WBA offered a guarantee that negotiations will begin if Stan Jonas did not secure a voluntary defense by November 16th. Their representative teams were unable to reach a deal in time to avoid a December 12th purse bid hearing, which won by Golden Boy Promotions, which they bid $2.3 million, who outpaced TGB Promotions with $2.1 billion in securing the rights to the eagerly awaited welterweight clash. In theory, the winner is due a shot at the WBA super title held by Errol Spence, who has the record of 28 and 0 with 22 knockouts, who also holds the IBF and WBC titles. Oh, again, man, I'm super excited about this fight, bro. Um, Man, these two uh, are just two uh, of some of the biggest names in the welterweight division. Um, which is always going to be a stacked division. Obviously, you know, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, Keith Thurman, 
uh, your Dennis Ugas, Stan Yonis, Virgil Ortiz, you know, Connor Ben, if he ever comes back and get his situated, uh, self situated, you know, it, it's man, this is just what well, choice is always going to be a stacked division, but um, this fight right here is very important for the for the regular WBA title, and even though that title is not important, um, it's still a great fight to make, and it puts the winner in a position to have to fight. Errol Spence, um, whatever they got going on, him and Terrence Crawford, all right? So, Virgil Ortiz, who, um, again, has the record of 19 and no, 19 wins, no losses, ninth, all wins, all 19 victories coming by way of knockout. He has a pretty good, um, he has a pretty good, pretty good resume, man. I know a few guys that he's fought. Uh, obviously, he's beaten Mauricio Herrera. Mauricio Herrera has, uh, Pretty much been in there with a lot of guys, giving a lot of guys trouble. A lot of people thought that he beat Danny Garcia or whatnot. But um he he's so Virgil Ortiz stopped him. Um he's been in there with Samuel Vargas. I wanna say Samuel Vargas. I, I mean Samuel Vargas is not like a, a, a big time a, a big time threat or a big name, but I think he's been in there. I wanna say Samuel Vargas been in there with the likes of Errol Spence, I wanna say, and um and uh uh, let me see, Connor Ben. I want to see, was it, was it Amir Khan too? I don't know, oh yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay, I, I got it right here. Yeah, you know, but, um, uh, I had to look it up to make sure, to fact check me. Yeah, but Samuel Vargas been in there, been in there with, you know, a lot of, uh, big names, uh, Connor Ben, uh, Luis Colazo, Amir Khan, you know, uh, Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, you know, he so you know he stopped him, and the, and again, Samuel Vargas is is not a a, a world class or you know name, but still these are pretty good guys. Maurice Hooker, probably the biggest name on his resume. Well, I think now nah, I take that back. Well, Mean Machine is the best fighter that 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 Virgil Ortiz fought, but um you know he stopped Mean Machine, beat Maurice Hooker. So you know these these are good names, man. And Virgil Ortiz is a come for it guy. Um, throws nothing but hard punches, man. Um, I, I think that, and, you know, I, th I just think it's overdue. This this type of fight for Virgil Ortiz is long overdue because uh, Stan, Yon Stan, Stan Yonis is definitely, uh, I probably probably would say the best name that will be on his resume should he um, beat should he beat Stan Yonis. Stan, uh, Stan Yonis. And as for Stan Yonis, he been in there with uh, Butaev. Um, both of them were undefeated at the time. I seen I seen Butayev against a close friend of mine, um, T Cat. He beat him by split decision. Um, he he been in there with Luis Colazo, uh, who's a veteran who's been in there with pretty much everybody. Luis Colazo, uh, Thomas Delorme. He got a victory over Thomas Delorme. So both of their records are are pretty much the same. I give a slight advantage to uh, Virgil Ortiz or whatnot. But um, both guys are, are pretty much even, evenly matched. And I'm sorry. Okay, okay, I, I got that wrong. He didn't beat uh, Luis Ortiz. I mean, Luis Colazo. I said Luis Ortiz. But he's been in the ring with him. Both fighters are... are, are this is a very evenly matched fight, man. Stan Young, this is more of a boxer. Um, I think that he would give uh, Virgil Ortiz problems. Um, I see Virgil Ortiz... Uh, I, in, in my opinion, I'm just in, in, I'm just give my prediction. Uh, I see Virgil Ortiz beating Stan Yonis um, by late rounds, not stoppage. But I definitely, but and that's if Virgil Ortiz is healthy, because you know we don't know with with everything that's been going on with Virgil Ortiz uh, in the recent um, history. Uh, we just don't know how uh, we we don't know how. I, I can't be a hundred percent sure that Virgil Ortiz is uh, is gonna be. Um, you know 100% against Stan Jonas however if if everything should everything go the way that it's been going I definitely will be picking Virgil Ortiz to uh to be winning but you know I want to give I want to take the time to give a shout out to the PBC man a lot of people give the PBC slack or whatnot um for 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 good for you know for good reasons at times or whatnot but man they've really been putting on um all these every big name Every big name event outside of Devin Haney versus Lomachenko has been involved in a PBC fighter. Um, so, you know, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe Stan Jonas is a PBC fighter. So I, I'm, I'm just, you know, shout out to them, bro. But we, we've been getting, we're getting some really good fights this year. This year is shaping up to be a good one. Let me know what you guys think. Who are you guys picking? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. But what do I know?